Okay, if you're already a registered player for Virtual Pool 4, <coughs> Virtual Pool 4 online, that means you'll already have an account. You'll have uh, a username and a password. Your username is your um, email address, and then of course your password. So uh, maybe you've done all of that, but you still haven't worked out how to get the online game. Now we've had a few guys uh, actually sign up for tournaments but they never appear in the lobby for the tournament and they end up forfeiting their match and that is uh, has concerned me because that tells me that people are able to register the game um, or they may have done it quite a while ago but they still haven't worked out how to download the client so this little video here is just going to talk you through that part so you've already got your username and password you can get onto the Virtual Pool 4 website and you can see your profile page and all of that sort of information but you still cannot download the client to get into the Virtual Pool 4 lobby this is how to do it so the first thing you need to do is go to the Virtual Pool 4 website so I'm just going to google it and do it this you know rather than go to my favorites where I already have it I'll just uh, google Virtual Pool 4 sorry if I can type Virtual Pool 4 and you'll see Virtual Pool 4 there, Celeris. So if I click that one, this is a Virtual Pool 4 site. Now the first thing I need to do is, is to sign in. So I'm going to do that. That's my email and password. Uh, I've already got that saved, so all I need to do is just put in my password here in order to clear the screen, that's just a security measure. Um, I've checked a box to remember me and then I hit submit. That means I'm now logged in. Now on here it takes me straight to my profile page. This is my profile page, that's my uh, in-game photograph and that is my lobby logo so when you go next to my name in the lobby you'll see my little photograph there. Here's an important button here. When you hover over that one, it says Edit Account Information. This is the one that you need to go to. If you click Edit Account Information, you'll see all your name and address and uh, email addresses, etc., uh, your country, etc., all of that stuff, the, the stuff that you've already done. That isn't important because you're already registered. This is important, the Download Online Game is the one that you need to click. If I click that button there, I get the pop-up to download the VP4 client and I then hit save file and it will start downloading uh, the online game client. It's just a short download. Once you've downloaded that part and you click uh, to install it, it will then um, I think it will restart, I think that's the thing it will do, and then it will start, uh, ask you to log in to VP4 online. Um, this is where you put in your email address and your password again, once you get the pop-up. It's self-explanatory. You'll know what to do once you get that far. I'm not going to do it because I'm already registered, but that's what you need to do. This part here, uh, if I just cancel out of that, Again, the little edit account information icon is this one. You click that and the download online game is what you need to be clicking. When you do that, that allows you to start the download of the online software. Uh, it will take a few minutes to download all the software, which includes the tables and the rooms, etc. And it will also restart the game. And then eventually you'll get the login page, which again wants your email address and your password and that then will allow you to enter the Virtual Pool 4 online lobby and that's that's pretty much it. As soon as you do that you'll get into the lobby you can then play whatever games you want to play. I hope this helps.